It's Mask Monday, ladies. And this is a sea, it's really slimy feeling. It's a Korean mask, but it's a, it's a sea radiance. It's from Lori, from um, Lori Latimer's channel. She does a Sunday night, I want to say skin treats, and um, it's a live. And I won this, I won four of these on her channel. She every, usually every Sunday, she does a, it's in the evening, she does a face mask giveaway. So, this is what I'm using today. Oh, uh, let me see. Refreshing plumping sheet mask with peptides, seaweed, and ferments. And it says to leave on for 10 to 15 minutes and then remove the mask and pat and the remaining essence left on your skin. I didn't tell you ingredients. Okay. Has anybody tried this from the Dollar Tree yet? I'm going to open one. I've got three now. I forgot about one and I saw them and I bought them again because I saw somebody talking about them and said they really liked it. I'm right here. Got a nice stuck in my apple. Yeah, I'm going black again. I hate it when it does that. Anytime I move because of the light behind me, it wants to go back and forth. See, look, let's move my head and it focuses again. So maybe no, I'm just going to leave it. It'll stop, I guess, or else it won't. It's kind of gloomy. It just seemed, I thought it would be a good day to sit here because it's gloomy out. And I didn't think the light would be bad. We we're going to start raking today, but it might rain, so my grandson's going to wait until a day where we know it ain't going to get rained. Look how big it is. And. It is a beauty cream. What's it say on direction? Smooth glow beauty cream for normal to dry skin. Let me find directions. Apply pea size amount on clean face for best results. Use every morning together with Pond's Perfect Color Complex Facial Foam. So I guess you wash your face first and then put this on. So I guess it's just like a face lotion and you just put it on and rub it in like when, oh, I just accidentally squirted it out. Yeah, see, comes out fast. No safety seal. And then just try it. I don't like it when it does that. It's so annoying. Smells garlic fragrance. It's not a bad smell, but it's strong. It's silky. And just to see how it absorbs. If it absorbs good enough, I don't want to have my skin to feel greasy. Let me see if I can move this. To make it not so. My dog's right next to me always. If I'm moving, she's moving. If I'm sitting, she's right there. Okay, maybe that'll be better. Sorry, guys. You gotta stick around there for a minute. And it is sticking right to my face, too. I didn't even put a headband on today. I went to the gym. It is Monday. I went to the gym, went to Walmart, because it's, you know, the day after Easter to get some of the clearance stuff. So that'll be on my hashtag Friday Hauls. And I, of course, did my son's grocery shopping for his office to, um, he wants chicken fajitas. So this time I'm using rotisserie chicken. So it's going to be dark and lightning. I bought four of them. And it's going to be on my, the whole recipe will be on my crock pot casserole video tomorrow, which is an open collab started by me and Kimmy's Kitchen. So if you're interested, any kind of um, casserole, crock pot meal, and she wants to add sheet meals because her husband's doctor said the sheet meals are really healthy for you. Where you just put everything on a sheet and vegetable oil, whatever you flip it, turn it, what have you. There's different ones. I like the I like cooking the um, honey. What's it called? It's the squash. It's the real sweet one. Can't think of the name of it. It's, it's orange. You chop it all up in little tiny chunks, and then you mix um like olive oil and um, paprika, and you mix it all up. And you can use a little brown sugar if you want, but you got to be careful because it'll burn. 
I'd add it more close to the end. And then you cook it in the oven. And it's really good on a, on a sheet. And then flip it. Like every, if it takes a half hour, I flip it every 10 minutes. But I've made it before. It's in a healthy book. I took a healthy eating class before and I got a cookbook from it. And that one's in there. Um, I can't believe I can't think of the name of the squash. It was so funny. Somebody knows what I'm talking about. It's the, at one end, it's kind of big, and then it goes small up like this. I can't think of the name of it. That is just too much. Uh, what is that book I can look at? I have a seed catalog right here in front of me somewhere. I'm trying to see if I can. Oh, there it is. I'll probably think of it before I find it. This is a seed catalog. I've ordered, I've got an order of seeds now. We're going to see how they grow and then I'll do a review on how they worked. And I just ordered some from the M, MI Gardener. I always thought it stood for Michigan, but it doesn't. Okay, I need to look up squash. Some raw flowers. There's tomatoes. Look at all the tomatoes. Weird. Okay, let's see. Watermelon. Nope, they're not by the watermelon. There's so many different tomatoes now. When we were little, they had tomato, red tomato. And then, you know, you got, came along, they had little cherry tomatoes. And all of a sudden, they've got every color, kind. Okay, here's squash. All right, there it is. Honey, nut, butternut. That right there, that squash. You peel it, and then you you gotta gut it. You cut it in half and then take all the seeds out. And then uh, cut it all in little squares. That's really good. I did get seeds I ordered from um, at my gardener. I'll talk more about that in one of my videos. But my gardening videos, the sugar pumpkin. I'm trying to see if I can see them in here. See how that looks like it, but it's, it's not very good. They're littler and they're sweet. They're the sugar pumpkin or the pie pumpkin or I don't see it anyway I've got those seeds coming see how that goes and it's a certain kind of cucumber I ordered they even take out all kinds of flowers and stuff in here too this book could really get in trouble all the different um there's so many different kinds of um peppers now too there's lots of them yeah, this is supposed to be about skincare, and I'm talking about, well, I guess you eat good, you got good skin too. So, yeah, that's good. Sweet peas. I ordered sweet peas, I think from both companies. I like them. Let's see what grows better. I did order parsnips right there. I ordered two different kinds of parsnips and two different kinds of turnips. I grew some, cooked some last year, and they kind of look like, taste like potatoes, so I like them. I am doing some kind of onions, so I ordered two different kinds of onions. So I hope I'm hoping they grow. My garlic always grows good. I'm just looking to see if there's anything else I want to show you in here. Yeah, lots of pretty sunflowers. I did order some different kinds of sunflowers. And these are the ones you can eat in. And you can make, um, I don't know if you need these ones, but you can make salves and stuff out of it. Trying to see if it is. I know there's different kinds of flowers you can actually eat. But I don't know if they tell you that in here. You just look it up. The, um, edible flowers. Where's my other phone? Here we go. I'll look up edible flowers real quick. Edible flowers. According to Orchid Bliss, like most edible flowers, orchid blooms are rich in vitamin C, boosting your immune system and helping stave off infections. They are also rich in fiber and essential minerals like iron, calcium, and potassium. Moreover, they are an excellent source of antioxidants and phytochemicals. 15 different types of edible flowers. Let's see what it says. This will turn out to be a garden video. Um, squash blooms, you know, on the top of your squash. I can never say this. Char chamomile, chamomile, chamomile flowers. I think I got some of those seeds. Ordered. Roses. I didn't know that. I wonder if there's a certain kind of rose. 
The classic garden beauty has a range of flowers from sweet to spicy. Canada, Canada, still, I can't even say that one either, but then I read about it. And I think I grew those last year. Pansies and violets, I grow those. You buy them, like, pretty soon. They'll be, a, they'll be, um, okay, guys. My camera shut off. You pray for me. I pray for you. Let's pray for the world. Bye, guys.